Yeah. I think what's most attractive thing, the thing I loved about it at first performance was not the rush of happy feeling, but the time slow. What Allen Ginsberg calls the time slow properties that makes Ross Rebagliati be able to snow down a mountain on a snowboard and just kick butt. I remember the first time I ever smoked marijuana, it was like a, it was like pouring water over a desert. <laughs> I, I discovered the second, third, fourth, and fifth dimensions all at one time. Yeah. Well, how can people help you? I guess you're running for mayor now? I, well, you know, I, uh, I came out of a congressional race last November with some very good vote totals, and so a lot of people are trying to draft me to run for mayor of Lexington, Kentucky, which is the second largest city, about 300,000. And I believe I could bring about a lot of the right changes in that office. So I'm going to announce this December, probably. And uh, I haven't made up my mind yet, but it's likely that I'll go for mayor of Lexington, which would be a big kick in eastern United States, folks. If I got mayor of Lexington, it would be big time. And you put your campaign, like, promises right up there on the yeah, yeah, internet? Yeah, yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I will. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is stop arrest for marijuana misdemeanors in, in, in my jurisdiction, you know. We're not going to take police officers off the street to book in marijuana smokers. We're up there. We're going to give them a ticket and uh, make them pay the fine. But uh, if you if you're interested in it, and certainly I'm interested in any input you have, uh, you can reach me at uh, gatewood.com. That's G-A-T-E-W-O-O-D.com. Uh, www.gatewood.com uh, or at gatewood at misnet m-i-s dot n-e-t. Uh, you know, Thank God for the internet. It's a wonderful way for us to communicate long distance, and I'd be glad to reply to anything. Uh, come visit me on the website. I'm interested in what you think about it. So, like a $5 fine? Uh, uh, well, I can't change the amount of fine. That's written by the state. But oh. I, I can control the policy on how they are cited or arrested. Can be lower than uh, prioritized, because lower it, than the cats lowest, in the trees. The lowest priority, because they, when they walk in the mayor's office, they're going to be smelling it from the back room. So they might, they <laughs> you might, better they might. just put it on the lowest priority. So the, one, one of the, one of the uh, DJs said, hey, would if you win, mayor, if you run for mayor and win it, would you continue to smoke marijuana? I said, of course, why should I change anything? They're going <laughs> to let me eat. I smoke it every day now. I'm going to be smoking it then. Yeah. I don't apologize for it. You know, it cured me. I was asthmatic as a child. I was, I was asthmatic. I was in and out of the hospital many times. I was in oxygen tents, had IVs, and uh, as a matter of fact, was 4F in the military in 1966, but convinced them to take me in the Marines because I was very aggressive. And uh, so then I went to the Marines and spent five weeks on Paris Island. I was 19 years old, had never smoked marijuana, and got discharged because I had to attack asthma. Hmm. Two years later, a friend of mine said, hey, we'll just come back from Bangkok, Thailand with some Thai sticks. He said, Gabe, we try to try this. I was 21 years old. And I said, uh, I tell you, I heard that stuff for her. She said, no, Gabe, we're going to help you. <laughs> and he was right because it saved my life. It cured my asthma. Wow. When I, when and I he knew it, too. Of, uh, he, he had an innate sense of it. He was a mechanic at the time. He later became a doctor. Wow. And uh, so he knew what he was talking about. But he saved my life with marijuana. Marijuana saved my life. So I'm unapologetic <laughs> about, about the way I promote it. Well, yeah, this, this is going to be great. It's going to be like uh, you're going to get fines and then contest the fines and then it's just going to be nothing. Uh, I hope so. Listen, you folks up here in BC, I'm here, let me tell you why I'm here, because you all are the cutting edge. You all are right where it's at. You're doing here what I would like to have gotten accomplished in eastern Kentucky up in Appalachia, which is the really poor mountainous region of eastern Kentucky and the 12 other states, poor mountainous region extends beyond it. Marijuana as a cash crop would uplift those people. It could bring in money. It could help the education and feeding the children and relieve a lot of poverty there. And I have not been able to get it done in 30 years of efforts where I live. You folks are getting it done. I am so honored to meet all of you all and uh, to, to watch how you're doing it, brother. Okay, Thanks well, so much for you. that's G A T E W O O D. Yes, sir. Gatewood.com. Yes, sir. And then you can hook up with the new Mayor Lexington, the 2B. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll do well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, namaste. Okay, well, you know, keep up the good work and keep educating those people in the heart of ignorance, in the heart of darkness, of the South America. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Yeah, thank you, Gabriel. Yes, sir. Bye. On the road again. Nearly 700,000 Americans were arrested on marijuana charges last year. That's an enormous waste of law enforcement resources and terribly unfair to those arrested and their families. 
It's time we stopped arresting adults who smoke marijuana responsibly. For more information, visit Normal's website at www.normal.org or call toll-free 888-67-NORMAL and tell them Willie sent you.